All right, welcome back everybody to episode four of our prompt chaining series. So to recap what we've built so far, we've built a little assistant that is the owner of a cowboy restaurant and will respond to us uh, based on our prompt here, welcoming the user to the restaurant. And we've also showed how we can capture the user's responses and use the AI set step to do some sentiment classification. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build something called the conversation loop. So rather than having the conversation just end, we're going to make sure that it keeps on going. So how are we going to do that? It's actually pretty simple. We're going to connect our prompt back to the beginning here. So there we go. So now we've created this loop where the conversation is going to keep going. So let's try to run it. The restaurant sounds great. Um, I'm excited to eat here. There we go. Glad you're in a good mood. But then it goes back and welcomes us again. Well, that's that's not really what we want. So where did we go wrong? So what we need to do is that we go back to this welcome step, right? And we don't necessarily want to do that. We only want to do the welcome step first and then go in a loop through general responses. So let's go ahead and add another AI response step here. Let's move these things around a little bit. We're gonna call this uh, conversation response. So we're gonna add our persona here, right? We still want to be a cowboy. Uh, and we're gonna say, respond to the users Last comment, or respond to the last comment. Um, that's here, All right? So here we're going to add our last utterance, and then rather than looping back to our original welcome prompt, we're going to loop to here loop to here, and then connect our capture to our capture block. So let's actually move our capture block out here, just so it's a little easier to see. Okay. So we're going to start off, we're going to welcome the user, then we're going to capture the response, do our sentiment classification, and then respond to what the user is saying. So let's try to run that. So let's get our, our user response back. Okay. I'm excited to go to your press. Is that right? I think I spelled it right. Um, Presto rant. Uh, I need to find a way to spell it. Okay, I'm glad you're in a good mood. There we go, our response. Thank you that you're thrilled. Okay, what's on the menu? So I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to get the menu response. Now, you can see here we're still going through this classification step, right, to, to be in the conversation loop. So we can actually go ahead and, and delete that, right? I think we we, we showed off uh, the functionality here. So let's, let's clean up our canvas a little bit. It's always good to delete extra code or extra blocks when, when you don't need it. So let's simplify our conversation loop, which actually gets pretty pretty easy if we think about it. So... Go and go here, go to capture step, and then there we go. There, there's our loop, right? So we're just going to bounce around here uh, between our get user response, get user utterance, let's name it well, and our conversation response here. So we're just going to keep going around in a circle using our persona information. So let's try that out. Okay, we're going to get welcomed here. Great. Um, What's on the menu? Okay, that's good. Um, I want, right, let's ask about the price. How much does the fried chicken cost? Fried chicken is priced at $15.99. Okay, that's, that's pretty reasonable. Um, so let's ask 
Okay, I want to order some fried chicken. Fried chicken. It's a little dark there. Fried chicken with some um, potatoes. I guess that's what, what you eat. Um, yeah, and there we go. We're going into that conversation loop. Okay, great. But how do we exit this conversation loop? We're just, just going going around in a circle. We can't really exit. So what we're going to do in our next video is we're going to talk about how do we actually do intent classification with a large language model? How do we say that we're ready to order or how do we quit this conversation? So we'll do that in our next video.